Hi, Jason at Golf Principles here, and something different today, we're going to explain to you what you're going to get when you buy a Homner product, right? So Homner is the Rolls Royce of Golf, so for those of you who don't know, it's that pinnacle, pinnacle product. Now, these are three shafts, exactly the same weight, flex, torque, kick point, 50 gram regular, so don't laugh, a 50 gram regular actually I hit pretty good. But, one's a two star, one's a four star, one's a five star. What does that mean? Okay, well the five star's got gold and platinum and it's worth 6,000 euros per club, but what do I buy for that sort of money? And what does the four star give me? What does the two star give me? These shafts are all made in Japan by Honda. They're not made elsewhere and factory in. They're actually made on site. So they're literally bespoke. The product's exactly the same. So I've not changed the heads. I've not made anything too, you know, curveball -y on you. You can tell by the style on the shaft what you're going to get. And if you look at the five star product, you can see that ferrule's got platinum and gold on it, which is bling. But it's a very cool product. The difference is the shaft is made and the torques change. So the layering makes it feel like a steel shaft. It's kind of weird because you know it's light and you're swinging it, but it feels kind of strong. So what we're going to do, we put some numbers on the board and explain to you what's happening with the shafts to give you that performance benefit. But if you can, use it, it's awesome product. Okay, so like I said, um, I've kind of hit three, four and five shots with the two, four and five star product. You can see as, I mean, I've already hit some shots to warm up, so as you start to sort of see the, the shaft get tighter in the torque, you can see how the speed picks up and more importantly how the ball speed jumps up. So smash factor actually stays really consistent. The product's great, we know it works. So the smash doesn't change. What does change, because the shaft's tighter, attack angles are the same, the path's pretty similar, but look at the speed in the ball speed. These are the same club heads, different shafts. So also, what's really important to look at is the dispersion figures. You can see here the five star is the tightest dispersion. The four star is pretty good. The two star is not bad, a little bit sprayy. When you start getting graphite shafts with low torque or tight feels, then this is what you start getting. You get the benefit of the graphite with the speed, but you get the tightness of the dispersion like a steel. So that's where the argument years ago was, oh, graphite hits it now and again miles, but sprays it. Not anymore. When it's as high a quality as this, you are getting the best of everything. It is literally the Bugatti Veyron of golf. So you can see where you are here. Again, distances go up a little bit. It's interesting. Okay, I know it's not everyone, but it's good for you to see that graphite can be used by a lot of people and not just Mr. and Mrs. Haverkamp who've got slow swing speeds. So any questions, as ever, happy to answer them and uh, we'll speak to you later.